What's going on everybody? Teddy Baldassar from teddybaldassar.com. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a watch available for purchase on my website with the Mula Glashuta Titonia Moon Phase. So at any point throughout this video, you have any questions about this piece, link in the description to the product page where you can get some more information on the piece as well as purchase it. You can also book a call with me if you have any specific questions. And finally, if it is your first time ordering from the store, please use promo code FIRSTORDER to get a discount off your first purchase of any Mula watch as well as other select brands. So guys, let's take a closer look at this watch. First looking at a rundown of the specs, we have a case size of 41 millimeters, case thickness of 12.5 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters, lug to lug of 50.9 millimeters, water resistance of 100 meters. Movement is an automatic Salita SW280. That movement though is gonna be very highly regulated, so a little bit more on that in a bit. Crystal is sapphire, and then price $2,699 on a strap, and then $2,799 on a bracelet. And if you use promo code first order at checkout, you're a first time customer of the store, you can get a discount of your first purchase of this watch, as well as other watches and products on the site. And we are a full authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry. So it comes with a full factory warranty and gives you a lot of peace of mind with your purchase. So if you have any familiarity with Mula as a brand, you probably know that moon phases or understated dress watches are not things that they're typically pumping out in production. As they are a brand that have roots in Germany under family ownership since 1869, and have a background in creating marine chronometers and motorcycle speedometers. So seeing a watch of this styling is a bit different, but if there was a tool watch brand's take on say a dressier moon phase out there, this watch would certainly qualify as a great example of that. First looking at this piece in the wrist, we have a case size of 41 millimeters and a solid case thickness of 12.5 millimeters and a lug to lug of 50.9 millimeters, which is on par for a case diameter of this size. That said, the lug to lug distance is a bit deceiving on this piece when factoring in the bracelet here. As the end link is measuring out to the farthest point at 58.5 millimeters, you do not feel that full 58.5 millimeters by any means, but this is something to consider as it's gonna add a little bit of extra size here. Uh, it does curve down the, the end links and is gonna kind of wrap around the wrist. And this point of kind of end links and kind of, I mean, I like to phrase them as kind of awkward because I think this one kind of is a little bit awkward. It's something that I think Mula kind of struggles with sometimes, but then again, this watch is also available on a strap, which I think will be more than accommodating for a variety of wrists out there and really allowing this one to excel in, in the wearability department. Speaking of, the lug width on this piece is 20 millimeters, but one point of note here is that there are not typical spring bars here, but screwed in bars that will help keep this strap or bracelet secure, yet on the contrary is going to make this a little bit more of a chore to change out the straps. The bracelet on this piece, despite a few of its shortcomings, is very well constructed. It comes with a mixing of polishing and brushing across the links, forms to the wrist well apart from the elongated center link, and features screwed in links. At the underside of the bracelet, it's locked together with the help of a two-button butterfly clasp, which is well done and even features prolage finishing on the inside of the clasp. Looking back towards the center of the construction here, the watch comes in a polished front side of the case and an incredible brushed side, which I, I think I really just want to take a note to really compliment because this is exceptional both in looks and also feel. It's just very well done here. Along the three o'clock side, we have a crown that is of the screw-down variety. Upon unscrewing though, operates in typical fashion, can be hand-wound at the first position, position, can change the date and the moon phase indicator at the second position, and can adjust the hands at the farthest position while stopping the second hand in the process. For the glass on this piece, we have a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating to assist in the visibility of the dial within. Now the dial comes in a simple silver that turns into white under extra light. On the outside, we have a minute track with applied indices set inward from there. At the three, a date window aperture, the six, a moon phase complication that rotates perpetually, and lovely blue alpha style hands at the center. The dial overall is very elegant, but still has a tool-like feel when you kind of combine all the elements together, as it's kind of straight down to the business and is a perfect marriage between these world of dress watches and say other watches that we're say a little bit more familiar with from now flipping this piece over, we have an open case back providing view of the movement within with the help of a sapphire crystal on the reverse side featuring the reliable SW280 within. However, this one is a modified top grade and is actually partially deconstructed and then reconstructed again with their own proprietary components. So this movement comes with an engraved custom rotor, paying tribute to the 150 years of the start of the manufacturer, blued screws, which Mula applies themselves, a nice regulator for fine tuning the accuracy of the movement. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you probably know what this actual regulator system is. It's their own proprietary 
regulator design known as their woodpecker neck. So it's a patented regulator system that was invented by Mueller back in 2003. It's really just kind of plays off that swan neck style design that you'll see in other manufacturers and has very fine sensitive adjustment for timing while improving on upping the shock resistance in the process. The movement operates at 28,800 vibrations per hour or four hertz, features hacking and hand winding. So hacking, stopping that second hand when pulling out to the farthest position, power reserve, 38 hours, and has great accuracy, usually going to be clocking in in the low single digits. Now just to unpack here, looking at a few positives and negatives of this piece, first looking at the bad, I think the first thing is kind of that awkward center link. I think everything about this bracelet is so good, but Mula just has a weird kind of center link design with some of their pieces. I also mentioned it in the 29er, which I think is a fantastic watch as well. This one I think just does affect the wear a little bit and just kind of looks a little bit clunky and makes this appear a bit awkward. In addition, this is an entry level watch, so I think the price is also going to be a determining factor here. Uh, but in terms of things that I like, I think you're also getting, of course, the well-constructed design that you are always going to get from a Mueller watch. Uh, a unique take on a moon phase complication. Moon phase complications, if you want a Swiss or a German-made actual moon phase watch, it's going to start getting pretty pricey. So that's something to consider there. And then in this case, you're also, again, just not getting your typical standard uh, SW280 movement. This is a high-grade movement here that's being finely regulated, fine-tuned by the manufacturer with their own proprietary components. So there's some things to really like here. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. If you do have any questions about this piece, book a call with me. Love to have a conversation with you about it. Then finally, if it's your first time ordering from the store, feel free to use that promo code first order to get a discount of your purchase of this watch or other select brands on the site. Love to show you what going authorized is all about. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well. Now we'll see you all very soon.